Who really discovered America? They say it's this guy. But he wasn't even the first European. This guy was. But when they both got here, there were already people in America. So who were these first Americans? So if the first Americans weren't some Spanish conquistadors or Vikings plundering the world, who were they really? Well, it turns out they look much more like something like this, which many people today might call a caveman. But they weren't really cavemen. What you would call them is a hunter-gatherer, which means they do exactly what their name suggests here, which means they hunt and they gather things to survive. And they didn't live over here in America at all. In fact, they lived originally in what you would call Eurasia. So the part where Europe and Asia connect, being one giant landmass, would be Eurasia. And they would come to America about 40,000 years ago. So as a hunter and gatherer, what they would do is just be searching all the time for food. They would wander all over Eurasian area looking for food and shelter and all the things they needed to survive. And eventually they get to a location right here. And as you can notice, getting across to America would be a little bit difficult. It would require either boats or what we call today the Bering Strait Land Bridge. So let's take a look at the Bering Strait. What we're talking about is the waterway between Asia and America. So a strait is just a small piece of water that are going through places. Here's another one here that is going between. Here's another one going between two pieces of land. These would be straits where a small piece of water can be passed through, separating two land masses. Now, this is the Bering Strait up here at the top between Alaska and Asia, and it was unpassable unless you had boats. So like I said before, I'm going to put boats here. They would need boats or what we call the land bridge. Now a land bridge is possible between the two if you are talking about a time period known as the Ice Age. So let's take a look at the Ice Age here. I'm going to write that one more time for you. Ice Age. During an Ice Age, the polar cap, so up here like in the North Pole, for example, they would grow. There would be more and more ice and snow, and they would continue to move further south than they normally are. And whenever you have ice built like that, you have lower ocean levels. So the ocean level begins to drop, which means more and more land is the growing between two pieces of land. For example, whereas the Bering Strait used to be here, there now is covered in ice and I could walk across. Or before where I could take a boat across, I don't have to go across the ocean. I can just follow a boat along the ice hunting. And eventually, as you can see, you would wind up in America. So let's bring our hunter-gatherer back into the picture. Let's say he lives in Asia, and he's wandering around hunting and gathering for most of his life. And eventually, they get over to here, and now, when they get here, they're no longer stopped by the Bering Strait. They can technically walk across, or later with canoes, other people can canoe across the ocean line, and they eventually are in America, and they would populate and go all the way down to the south. These people, right here, would be the first Americans. Today, we call them Native Americans. <laughs>